Hi. Let's talk about being a Gen Xer. Uh, some of the things that that we liked were books, hard copy books, books with paper. The book I want to talk about is a uh, Christine. Uh, it gets a lot of flack. I know. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like it, say it was hastily written, might have been written during Stephen King's drug phase. Me personally, growing up through the 80s, Stephen King was like an icon when it come to writing, I guess. You would compare him to our, I wouldn't go as far as to say Ernest Hemingway, but, you know, he was pretty up there. Everybody had a Stephen King novel. Everybody had read a Stephen King novel, those of us that read anyway. Um, Christine was one of the first ones that I read. I really liked it. Um... Story about a guy in a car. It's got a dated feel to it, but... I mean, it's just one of those books that... I identify with my youth, but... I really enjoy the story. Um, I always find myself wanting to come back to... To that book... Uh, in the autumn of the year. The when 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 the weather gets cool or you're out there walking your dog and it's the evening time dusk you're thinking about reading that book or now you know we've got audio books uh, I've listened to that audio book here recently and it was it was winter time when I was listening to it and I just really enjoyed it um. I've done both uh, the hard copy. I own a copy of the hard copy. I bought it used. And I'm proud I did. I'm trying to support local bookstores or, or small online bookstores. But I also have listened to the audiobook. The current one that you can get from Audible or Apple uh, audiobooks, or even, uh, your local library through the Libby app. Uh, the guy who reads it is, is really energetic. He's exciting to listen to. You know, even though the story takes place in 78, um, it just feels good to kind of, to me it feels good to kind of listen to that type of story. Something where you're not inundated with with technology they're not talking about youtube or cell phones it's straight up just a story it's just a story and i really like that i really liked it growing up i really liked it now in my older years um i would highly recommend anybody reading that book i get it story might not be for everybody but it's really well written in the fact that it's set up in three sections um i don't want to drop any spoilers for those who haven't read it uh but it's like the first section if i'm not mistaken it's told through the uh, the viewpoint of the the friend uh the second part i think it's told through uh, the viewpoint of a girlfriend and the third part I'm not quite sure if it's written in the perspective of 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 the car or just it drops out to maybe like a j just like the average style of reading I'm a history major I'm not a not English major so I don't know how you would describe the viewpoint but it's almost like a straightforward story. Just you're, you're you're that person imagining what's going on in the, in the town. I really liked it. I think to me, is it the first book you want to pick up by Stephen King? 
No, probably not. Probably not. Are there better books written by Stephen King? Sure, I would agree to that. Has he written better books before or after? Yes, yes. But to me, it's, it's a good one. It's one of my favorites. But again, that could be because I'm partial to this story. I just like this story. It's comforting. And, and we're all going to find uh, books like that. Not everybody's going to find comfort in books. And it's kind of weird, I know. I find comfort in the... It's considered a horror book. But to me, it's more along the lines, I guess, I'm, I'm remembering how I was when I was reading this as a young man, as a high school or middle school or whenever it was, I, I picked it up. Um, and, and then read it throughout my 20s and in my 30s and... I really liked it. I really liked it. I, I would recommend picking it up. Um, it's not the deepest book. It's not life-changing. It's not, uh, you're not just going to grab some major epiphany while reading it. It's a story. And it's, it's a really good story. So I think anybody would enjoy this story. Christine. Alright, thanks.